First, let me start by saying hello to President Stanger and congratulations not only to you, but to your parents, an incredible accomplishment. I was a class of 85 graduate. I've got the hardware right here to prove it. If you look closely, it says May 22nd, 1988. Go to my Instagram, the Billy Baldwin, click on the photograph of my degree and read why I walked in graduation in 1985 and did not get my degree until 1988. It's a doozy. Don't take after me. Listen, I've had a lot of incredible chapters of my life growing up in Long Island with my crazy family and going to Binghamton and my show business career and traveling the world and working with cool people and my 30 year relationship with my wife and my three incredible children. So many successes and so many failures, so much that I've learned through those experiences. But I will tell you, not one chapter was more important or less important than my four years at Binghamton University. I got my political science degree. I studied with some of the best and brightest minds in political science, uh, Professor Dekmejian, Singrinelli, uh, Weissband. I worked with some of the, the greatest professors uh, in, in, in what they call then Sunni history. Uh, I will tell you a few things that I didn't learn at Binghamton that I want you to learn. One, save your money, five to 10%, everything you earn starting day one. Number two, Learn how to balance a checkbook, okay? Just because you have checks in the checkbook does not mean you have money in the bank. Number three, learn to cook, man. Learn to cook, you know? It's gonna, it comes in especially handily when you're in a quarantine. Learn to cook. And fourth and most importantly, I please pray that you guys will stay tethered to the institution. Stay close to the university. I get back there sometimes more than once a year. I stop by, you know, President Stanger's office. I visit with professors. I support the wrestling program. I go to practice there and I, I talk to the student athletes there and stay tethered to the university. Stay involved. Go back, visit, and be of service in any way that you can, uh, especially giving back 25 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks. You know, make sure you're giving annually when you can afford it. You know, when you can afford it, make sure you're giving annually to that institution to help it grow. We want to make that institution grow and we want the best and brightest minds on that campus at all times. All right, so hey, to the class of 2020, I hoist the glass. I got a beer on ice. It's hot here in California. No champagne today. Hey, salud, Saint Denis. Go Bearcats.